Now, first, first with respect to asking a banker about whether they like Bitcoin or not, that's kind of like asking a king, do you like democracy? <laughs> I mean, if you think about it. Um, it. It's just so thoroughly frustrating and insulting when people who know very little about what we do watch an up-and-coming technology and have the audacity to call us all criminals. You know, we're not the criminals here. The whole damn reason this ecosystem exists is because they're the criminals. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Welcome back to LCS TV Plus. And today I'm going to teach you how to store your Cardano, which is 88 or ticker, the token, onto the official Daedalus mainnet wallet that has staking capability. So this wallet is officially from Input Output HK Cardano, which is a part of it. I'm going to actually teach you the whole setup process so nobody won't get confused. But if you like the sound of that video, make sure y'all smash the subscribe button, turn on bells and notifications. Also, leave me a like for the support and let's get it. If you want to go to DaedalusWallet.io, I will leave a link in the description description section below in the resource section so you can definitely check it out make sure that it's official this is the official input output hk project right here as you go to this page what you want to do is go to download also before installing Daedalus mainnet wallet you want to scroll down here until you see operating system so it supports windows it supports mac os it supports linux os so the recommended hardware requirements you must have a 64-bit dual core processors four gigabytes of ram 10 gigabytes of a free drive space and board band internet connection just so you know so we're gonna go ahead and launch the Daedalus mainnet wallet right now so we got the Daedalus wallet load up and this is my main account so I'm gonna actually create a new one so you have four options here you can actually plug in a hardware wallet so you can actually plug up a ledger or a treasure onto this option but uh, I recommend doing it the old-fashioned way creating a seed so what you're gonna do is create a wallet name I'm gonna put this as example wallet then you're going to create a password so after creating your wallet name and password you're going to get to the 24 word recovery phrase now this is high alert you do not want to share this 24 word recovery phrase with anybody this is to yourself this is a private key that moves your funds and recovers your funds you want to keep this on an encrypted file on a cold storage device also i do not recommend writing your 24 word recovery phrase on paper it's vulnerable to disappear all right so we got the hard part out the way so now what it's doing is to synchronizing my wallet to the blockchain to check if it has any type of transaction history so it's just synchronizing it for a minute but once we finish we'll continue on with the process all right so my wallet has load up here so what we're going to do i'm going to break each section down kind of quick and fast so you can kind of get an understanding of what to do and i'm not going to be too detailed a lot has changed since i've been staking my cardano uh, i kind of just stake it and then forget about it i haven't really opened my wallet unless there was some updates so keep in mind of that you want to keep up to date with those uh, updates because it could uh, fix uh, bug issues anything that's a problem within the wallet itself so definitely keep on top of those updates so what we're going to do is starting off with summary this is your overall view of your asset of ada so you're going to have your wallet and then you're going to have the cardano amount here you got numbers of pending transactions you got numbers of transactions you got the us dollar conversion into ada so it has an example showing you up to date real time finally of what the price of ada is so 188 it's equals to one dollar and 23 cents usd and also you have this send section so this is where you're going to be putting the recipient address where you want to send it out and then you can actually put the amount of whatever you like and then you can actually hit next and confirm your transaction you got the receive right here so you have your recipient address here so any of these are available as your recipient address so i could choose this and actually copy this or i have the qr version here and i can actually add a note to this recipient address also so I could save this as a PDF if I want to save it in my file. We go to transactions. So we have transactions here. Now this is going to be probably important for you to do your taxes and stuff like file your taxes. You can actually, uh, it's going to pop up all the transactions here in this section here. And then you can actually, uh, you have two options. You have filter, then you have uh, export uh, CSV file. So you can actually download all the transactions that's on this platform here. And then you have more, you have your settings and you know, you can change your name if you want, change 
your password. It's going to give you some recommendations about your recovery phrase. You can verify your wallet recovery phrase anytime if you think you forgot it. Um, you can also delete the wallet. All right, back at the summary tab here, you're going to see this notification bell. So this is your news feed. So every time when input output HK has a new update released for the wallet, so you're going to actually be updating your Daedalus mainnet wallet frequently. Every time they update, they will notify you with their release notes where you can actually see what they improve or what type of issues they resolve. And also they have a link where you can go to the input output HK blog post and it actually take you to that link to the website. Then over here, you have your block synchronization button here. You can choose this anytime. It will let you know if all blocks are synced within your transaction or your wallet. Like I said before, you can actually create a new wallet, pair a hardware wallet device onto the platform. Also recover your seed phrase, import your Daedalus wallet file into this wallet here. Also, you got your delegation center here. This is where you keep in track of the next Cardano epoch. It has a timeline here, and then it has uh, the epochs and the current slot and the total slot. This right here, this shows my wallets here. It tells me what staking pool that I'm in. And as you see with my example wallet, I don't have any funds in it yet, but we are gonna move some funds in that wallet, and then we're gonna actually start staking it. And I'm actually gonna set up the staking process um, until we get some Cardano in there. We're gonna do that later on. In this section here, we got the funds voting registration. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, this is pretty new to me, but I'm pretty sure that it has to do with anything with the governance for validators of the Cardano network. Um, I'm unsure what this is. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you know what it is. Um, also heading into this setting, more kind of preference setting here. Um, in the general, you can actually change your language here. You can actually uh, change the number format, uh, date format, time format. You got staking pools, you, uh, wallets, you know, with the uh, currency pairs. Uh, you can actually switch it to Bitcoin if you wanted to see everything in Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum. Uh, you can actually change the themes here. So I like the black on white. It just makes it look bold, but you have different options here that you could uh, choose from. And then we got the terms of service agreements here. So you can actually uh, look through here and see what they're talking about with the terms of service. And then you got the support section here. You can actually download your logs here. Um, any known issues, you can click this link and it would take you to the input output HK platform. Also, they have a link here where you can open the support request form in your browser where you can actually send them tickets. All right, guys, I'm about to wrap it up. Thank you for watching part one complete of the setting up process of the Daedalus mainnet wallet from input output HK, which is a part of Cardano. Also, we got a clear understanding of how the platform works. Also, stay tuned to part two. I will be depositing ADA and teaching you how to stake on the next video. So if you like the sign of that video, go ahead and smash the subscribe button turn on bills notifications so you won't miss out on any more content like this and also leave me a like for the support this is oliver and i'm signing out